So just a little introduction <coughs> to the observer. So I always like to use an object because you could say self-inquiry is to inquire into the nature into the nature of self. So the question is, who am I or what am I? Who am I or what am I? So this is, um, this is a, an experiential question. Okay. So one of the things to realize is, uh, so the first thing to do in doing self-inquiry is just take a moment and just, it's not even answer the question mentally. Just get a, I call it, get a reading. How do you experience you now, experientially? It's not really I'm asking you to try and think about it. What is the experience of self now? Now, many people may experience self as thoughts, their thinking, or some people may, and, so, and many will experience themselves as the body and the feelings within the body. That's quite a common one. So are there thoughts, are there body, but it, whatever it is for you, it'll be dependent on your level of spiritual work you've done. So become aware of that um, and then see that if, you, if there is awareness of thoughts or the body, that something, there is something here that is witnessing that. So understand that when I hold up like this mug of tea, everyone who's observing the mug, you're not the mug, okay? Because if an object is being observed, the observer of the object is bigger than the object. Now, th this is quite an important thing. So the object here has limits. It has a shape. So if you observe something that has limits, then that which observes it must, ha must be bigger than the limits of the object. So, if, there's observ if there are thoughts passing by, that which is witnessing or perceiving or observing the thoughts cannot be the thoughts. So what is observing thoughts which is not thought? Is a thought observing thoughts or is there something which observes all thoughts that come and go? The observer of thoughts. So what about, is there any feelings in the body? Or is there an awareness of the limits of the body? If there is uh, identification with the body or the limits of the body, what's observing <coughs> the limits of the body? So there is something here which is, so is there a lot of, is someone, is one experiencing time? Or is something aware of seconds passing by? Then what's observing the, the seconds passing by? Is that which observes time or witnesses time, is that in time? Is there an awareness of location? Is there an awareness of location in the room? But then what witnesses location? Is that which witnesses location in location? So whatever you experience yourself to be, how do you experience yourself? Do you experience the body, the thoughts, the location? Do you experience time? Is the witnesser of this, can you be in the witnesser or the perceiver of this? If someone's here uh, and they're feeling tiredness or distraction, well, tiredness or distraction is like a cloud. Sometimes one feels tired and distracted, sometimes one doesn't feel tired and distraction. But then something has to be observing the cloud of tiredness and distraction. The witnesser of distraction or tiredness, can the observer of tiredness and distraction be tired and distracted, that which is witnessing it? Realize that when you go to the witnesser, you can have what I call the interested witnesser. If you go to the witnesser of thoughts and the witnesser of thoughts is interested in thoughts, there will be some relationship between the witnesser and the thoughts. But then what's witnessing the witnesser? Is the witnesser of the witnesser, is the witnesser of the interested witnesser of thoughts, does that witnesser experience thoughts, which has no interest in thoughts? Is the witnesser of the body which has no interest in the body, is that witnesser aware of the body? 
if there's an observation of any kind of distraction or feeling of tiredness, is there an observer of that? And is that observer tired or distracted? So you just keep going. So if there's any experience of limitation in any, any form, if there's experience 